Aww, animals. Anything for Snoopy. A dog owner in London is willing to give everything she owns just to save her beloved pet Yorkie cheese Snoopy. Dolly Ann Osterlow met Snoopy nine years ago when she rescued him from a kill shelter in New Jersey. The poor pup had been abandoned by a family after Christmas and was found in a trash bin. Since his rescue, the pair have been inseparable. But during a vet checkup to assess Snoopy's breathing difficulties, he was diagnosed with mitral valve disease and given only a few more months to live. Poor little fellow has to take medication 11 times a day to help with this condition and can only be saved if he undergoes surgery. Osterlo had chanced upon a pioneering treatment by a team of Japanese and French surgeons in Paris that could reportedly restore Snoopy back to health. Problem is, the surgery costs an eye-watering 37,000 pounds and needs to be paid in cash. And even with her savings of bank loan and donations, Osterlo still came up short. To make up the rest of the money, the 32-year-old former actress opened her London apartment for 24 hours and put all her belongings up for sale. Thankfully, the tactic worked. Osterlo now has the money to pay for her precious pet surgery and may even have extra from her GoFundMe page. Seems Snoopy is set for his September 19th surgery in Paris. Get well soon, buddy! Here are more animals who've gotten a second chance at life. The Kiss of Life this pooch nearly died in a house fire, but was promptly brought back from the brink thanks to one firefighter's mouth-to-snout rescue. After coming home to find her Santa Monica apartment burning, a 35-year-old woman frantically asked firefighters to help save her pet dog, who was still trapped inside. As the blaze was contained, firefighter Alex Klein grabbed the dog, who had no pulse and wasn't breathing. Klein quickly performed CPR on the pup and gave him oxygen through a special mask. It took 20 minutes, but the lucky dog eventually came back to the land of the living. No other pets or humans were injured in the fire. The pup was transferred to a local animal hospital, but is now back on his paws, even swinging by the station to personally say thanks. Dog saves unconscious bird and pair form incredible bond. A small pet dog spotted a little bird in dire straits, and rather than watch it die, he went in search of help. Diamond, a Jack Russell Terrier, had just come in from a walk with his owner, Gunner. Minutes after Gunner sat down at his computer, Diamond ran over, whining. Not understanding why, Gunner initially waved the pooch off. But the little dog was persistent, and eventually Gunner gave in and followed Diamond to check things out. To his astonishment, lying outside on the floor of their balcony was a tiny bird, who appeared to be dead. But when Gunner noticed it blink, he quickly gathered it up and tried to bring it back to life with some water and bird seed. Incredibly, the bird was flapping its wings again in no time, and when Gunner was about to let it go, the bird flew over to Diamond and landed on his head. A show of thanks, if you will. The two shared a few friendly kisses, and Gunner named the bird Bibi. He then left Bibi outside to encourage her to return to the wild. Apparently, Bibi wanted one last sleepover with Diamond, and so Gunner arranged for it. The next day, Bibi took flight and flew high in the air. Gunner says now, whenever he asks, where's Bibi? Diamond hops on the couch and looks out the window for his pal. Maybe somewhere outside that window, she's there, keeping an eye on him too. How Animals Are Surviving Hurricane Harvey As Hurricane Harvey dumped water all over Texas, humans weren't the only ones looking for relief. Animals of all shapes and sizes were caught in the downpour and had to be rescued along with everybody else. The rich animals were the lucky ones because they were able to get out before the rain hit. Blue-collared friends like Harvey the Hawk wasn't as fortunate. Heavy rains forced Harvey to hail a cab rather than take to the skies. Guess Harvey isn't a big Uber or Lyft fan. Gators have also been trying to escape all the wetness. Many have been seen hanging out in the burbs. And of course, man's best friend and our favorite feline companions were stuck just like everyone else. Oh, how heartbreaking. We're talking about that poor cat stuck in the back. Not the old grandmas, although they're okay too. And it wasn't only the big animals looking for a helping hand during Tropical Storm Harvey. Insects were in on the action as well. Stay dry out there, folks. Animals saved from bombed out zoo. A group of starving animals has been rescued from an abandoned zoo in the war-torn Syrian city of Aleppo. When war broke out in Syria in 2011, the zoo's caretakers fled, leaving the animals to fend for themselves. 
The conflict has taken a heavy toll on the poor creatures, leaving them starved, emaciated, and traumatized after seeing many of their furry friends die. But salvation came for some of the animals this week when they were evacuated to a rehabilitation center in Turkey. In a joint venture between animal charity Four Paws and the Turkish government, three lions, two tigers, two bears, and two hyenas were saved. The animals will now undergo health checkups as Four Paws tries to find new homes for them. The charity plans to launch a second rescue mission soon to save two more lions and two wild dogs from the same zoo. Aleppo, which is now under government control, has seen some of the fiercest fighting in Syria's six-year-long civil war. Pet owner breathes new life into his dying tortoise. What do you do when a pet is dying? Well, one pet owner in Gloucestershire, England, revived his drowning tortoise by giving the animal CPR for an hour. Pet owner John Fletcher was left shell-shocked when he found his 45-year-old tortoise, Freda, drowning in his garden pond on August 14th. Not ready to say goodbye to his beloved pet, Fletcher tried to revive Freda by giving her mouth-to-mouth -mouth CPR and stretching her head out a little. After a while, the pet owner saw water coming out of Freda's mouth and her legs began to twitch. He then used a hairdryer to warm Freda up and massaged her legs and back. Fletcher massaged Freda's chest repeatedly for an hour, and finally, the tortoise began gasping for air, then opened her eyes to let her owner know she was alive. After being saved, Freda is now back to her normal routine, strolling around and, you know, just uh, generally uh, looking at things. Only now she'll be staring at a fence around the pond that Fletcher put up to protect her. According to a reptile store in the UK, tortoises can only float on water for a short amount of time. So peeps, uh, keep an eye on your little friends.